Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel, Budgeting My Abundance. I'm the Abundant Mama. And this is the channel where I'm documenting my journey to becoming financially free and living a financially independent life. So today we are gonna be cash stuffing some monies. So let's go ahead and get started with that. But before we get started, do me a favor. Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Um, because it's gonna be here in this little area, my little emblem that I always show, that like and subscribe button. And then um, <clears throat> hit that notification um, bell, a signal sign, that's a little bell. So that way you know every time a new video is uploaded. So let's go ahead and get started. So today we are doing our high priority savings. So this, and I did kind of um, take out my, um, because I'm, I'm putting a, a, like my bills are due. So I tend to take all my bills and when I already have the hundreds, I take those and substitute those with other things that, you know, kind of condense. I did a condensing. It was a very long way of me saying I condensed my bills <laughs> of, of the savings in here. So let's just get started. Um, 51, 52, 53, so that's 300. Two, four, six, eight, four hundred, two, four, six, eight, five hundred, uh, ten, twenty, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five. That's five fifty-five. Fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, sixty-six, sixty-one, sixty-two, five sixty-two. I always do that. It's like, you know, it might be easier if I finish counting first, then stack them the way I want them stacked. But you guys, it has been a while since I posted. Um, you, I, I tend to um, batch record. So like me, physically, it's been a while since I recorded. Um, my schedule was still up because I batch recording already. Um, had them scheduled. So it's like, no, we just saw you last week. No, you, I, I recorded that before. <laughs> sometime so yeah um i i took the time out to just kind of you know grieve the loss of my dog in process and I mean, you can tell because if you follow me i didn't even do any any type of shorts and i usually do shorts um so yeah thank for those who said who you know was like our prayers and thoughts are with you thank you so much for that um so let's go ahead and get started uh we are going to start with savings where is my notebook? So we're going to start off with my savings and savings. I'm all over the place. Where are my markers? Savings is going to get 50, 50 bucks. So let's just go ahead and add that. Take this 50. And so now we have 500 that's in the bank and I'm adding this 50. So 500, 600, 650, 670, 675. And I was, I was using blue, so. Colors to blues. So, how has everybody's week been? Mine's has been pretty okay. You no, know, work is work. But your girl is going back to school, so I have been, you know, doing things, getting ready for that. Um, next is gonna be my blackout challenge. And that honestly, that was the perfect little segue. Because for my blackout challenge, I'm actually gonna just do $55. Normally, I stuff like 150, but because of school, um, like my job pays for it, but they literally only pay like I guess the tuition portion. But so like, um, if you have like you know how schools will charge you like a technology fee or like a, um 
what's it called like if you have to go to tutoring or whatever and that's like all provided within the campus or something like you know like those additional fees that you know schools have it didn't cover that it literally just covered the classes so i do have to pay for that or rather i did so i'm paying myself back i use my credit card um so i'm gonna put 55 dollars in here And so I'm um, doing 55 instead of the 150, just to you know pay myself back and pay that credit card back. Cause my credit score is going is going up. I'm I use Experian to follow my credit score, and it jumped. So I'm doing it went from fair to very good. So I'm gonna keep up with that. And the reason the reason why is because um, my husband came into some money, and he actually gave me the 1500 to finish this, which I did. I applied that money to this and knocked out my uh, my uh, my credit or you know locked out that payment so technically this is paid off um I'm still stuffing this because we want to put that money back into the savings like the that was like the 1500 to give me was a portion we want to put that money back into the savings so at this point I'm really just stuffing this to pay back what I used so now we have one um, we have 500 600 700 750 800 80567. So now we have $807 because I already have 500 that was in the bank. So actually, instead of the fifth, he didn't give me 1500, he gave me a thousand because I'd already applied the, the first 500. So I'm just doing this to stuff it back to pay back, you know, what we took out or what I took out. Um, and since I did 55, I am going to color a 60 and leave it and i know that sounds strange like you know, i have a whole 40 right here why wouldn't i but you know i'm gonna color this 60 or a portion of that 60 and then uh write five there meaning i owe five so i'm gonna put 55 here and five right there I don't know why I'm closing this. I still need to stuff this. Um, oh, while wow, I'm moving this. Uh, next is going to be Christmas. Okay. Christmas is going to get 65. So that little remaining part of my tuition that I had to pay, that ended up being a total of like $189. So, um, I should probably, do I have a stuffing thing for that? I'll get to that later. We're gonna take care of Christmas first. Oh. Okay, Christmas is getting 65. So let me take out this 50, 60, and five. Then we're gonna add that to holidays. So now we have 100, 200, 300, 350, 360, 370, 380, 85, 90, 95, 400, 405. So yay, we are almost at that half mark. We are getting there. And so I'm gonna color in, cause I'm trying to get rid of all the, trying to get rid of as many of these as possible. So I'm gonna color this little 40, this little Santa Claus right here. And this one. This has been bugging me that it's kind of partially colored. And I've been in it for a while, so done. Finally, that was done. I still don't have like a whole row, but I'm almost there. I don't know why, but I'm saving like these 65 for last because I feel like I'm. I'm in my head, I'm like, I'm getting it done because I know I have multiples. I'm knocking multiples out. Even though it's still 65. Um, after that, might as well go ahead to tuition. I'm gonna put tuition in miscellaneous. And so for that, um, I, I'm gonna do 95. So I have 50. 
90, and five. I'm gonna put this in here. And that's gonna be for what I'm, what I'm paying myself back, because I use my credit card. So I'm gonna um, pay myself back um, before my credit card payment is due, or at least that's the goal. And it, sh it just should, that should happen because my next paycheck happens literally right before uh, my statement comes out. Like a week before my statement comes out. So I, I definitely have time. <laughs> Um, after that, we um, are going to do the $750 uh, savings challenge. And so, last time, I did this and I have two random $2 bills in here. I'm gonna just put that there. And yes. Okay. So for this to make this, because lately I've been stuffing basically $75. Um, is like my goal. Every time I stuff, I try to put like $75 in or at least enough to add up to about $75 per time. So this uh 25 plus 13 is 38. So I'm gonna pull out 20, 35, 6. Seven, eight, and then these are the last, the three from the last time. But I'm gonna do this one a little different because this one's not gonna. Um, I'm not gonna stuff seventy-five. I think I'm only gonna stuff sixty. Maybe because I forgot. Yeah. Cool, you caught, you did your tuition, you, you know, you took care of that. I need to color this. Um, you gotta buy books, genius, or rent them. And y'all, them books ain't cheap. Like one of them books was like $113, and that's just to rent it. And it was used, it was old used to rent $113. <laughs> So you can imagine how much it costs to buy that. Like freshmen, if I have any college students that are freshmen, this is your first time going in here, do not buy them books, rent them, give them back. For the most part, you're not gonna keep them. There's no reason for you to actually really keep them unless you're a doctor. But <laughs> yeah, just don't. If you ever need to go back and reference, you can Google it. Don't don't buy the book, just, just rent it. I mean, rent them out. Yeah, rent them books is messy, but then send them back. Cause I, I remember when I was a freshman, I had bought, I made that mistake. I bought the books and then I sold them. And don't, if you are gonna buy the books and you you're gonna plan on selling them, do not sell them back to the bookstore because you will never, ever, ever get back the value. Like they will order, they will offer you like a quarter of the price of what you spent. Sell it to another freshman. That, 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 it sounds terrible, but that's the only way you're gonna make your money back. Sell it to another freshman. <laughs> so, um, I'm gonna put uh, 24 on here. Um, Cause originally I was gonna stuff 22, but since I have these two additional um, ones, I'm, I'm gonna do that 24. So here's 20, one, two, and then these two make that four. savings challenge so we are in the month of august in august august uh i decided actually i decided in july me, um that i'm not doing this well y'all can't see me but i'm not doing this uh my funds will not allow me to do eight dollars for all the days of August, I was very overzealous. I don't know what I thought. 
I mean, I was thinking about the future because in the future I will have that amount of money. I'm, you know, manifesting that it's coming my way. I'm attracting that, all that good stuff. But at the moment, at the present, yeah, that's a no. So I put three dollars because that's what I'm gonna do. Because I did the same thing for July. I put seven, um, and I changed it to two. So for August is three. So August for fifteen, we're gonna color fifteen days because you know bi-weekly. Um, and that's gonna be forty-seven dollars that I'm stuffing in there. So let me pull out my monthly savings challenge binder, and that's gonna get forty-seven dollars. So twenty, forty, five, six, seven. And I'm going to go ahead and color that. And... Now, I have money up here because I did this totally backwards. I was definitely supposed to stuff my wallet. So, we're gonna unstuff. And you know what? I'm not even going to like write it down and do the buffer and all that. Normally I do, but I didn't think to do that in the beginning. And I don't feel like doing it right now. Like, I, I just, I don't. <laughs> I can do it later, and then and I don't I don't feel like doing it right now. Sorry. Um, <clears throat> I probably should though. It's a whole discipline thing. All right. Uh, all right. So for weekly spending, I had gas, eight eighty, groceries. 70 spending miss and I don't know what the buffer was because I didn't even check it before my um, my paycheck hit so I truly do not know for that one buffer let's see spending was 60 and miscellaneous was 5 This is from Miscellaneous. Um, I actually had this on me because I bought two lottery tickets because Mega Mills is like 1.35 bill. Why wouldn't I? <laughs> so I spent four and I have one dollar remaining. So I'm gonna put that here. This came from spending. So I have 10, five. I should probably, I need to count this. What am I doing? Uh, spending. With, oh, gas had 80. I spent all 80, so I have nothing remaining. Uh, yeah, I pulled this from spending. So I have 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 dollars left. So that meant I spent 40. And uh, groceries has two dollars left, so that meant I spent sixty-eight dollars. So now to stuff. Gas is going to be eighty. Two, four, six, eight. really good when it came, came down to like knowing how much I spend on gas. Um, spending is going to get 50 this time. Um, 
groceries is gonna get 60. I knew I was missing some money, okay. When I was <laughs> divvying up my money, I was like, something's off. I feel like I need to add an extra five. I feel like I'm not, I'm not adding a five in there. And I was right, I was missing a five. And miscellaneous is gonna get five. There we go. That is it. I don't know why I'm double checking like I'm, like I'm on fine hidden money. Does anybody else do that? I know I'm, I'm used to hiding money from myself, but. <laughs> Stuff. My $1 and my $5 challenges and my rollovers. So this already has the $2 in it because if you followed me for a while, you know when I stuff my bills, which I no longer record, but when the way I stuff my bills is my auto payments, um, I always overstuff, so I always end up with an additional $2. So every time I take my money, uh, my car note to put in the bank so it can be paid, um, I just take the other, I just take the extra $2 and put into my $1 challenge. And yeah, I'm not gonna lie. This right here has kind of been bugging me, the fact that I only had $20 for January. So I may just take five of these ones, or maybe this one five and throw here, and call that a day. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take, a, take five of these ones and throw them in my January. I would love to actually, at the end of the year, have all of this done. So if I have a little bit of extra money, I think that is something I'm gonna do. Just throw some of the rule, not, no, nah, it's not gonna be like an every time I get paid thing, but you know, why not? Because at the end of the day, it's, it's benefiting and it's helping me. Um, so, color. So this is pink, so at least I have one. So now I have 25, because I've only had 20. Because uh, at the beginning of the year, I was still a temp. I was not permanent at my job. And everybody, like we had like, we get 11 days off for the holidays, for Christmas. And as a temp, I ain't get paid for them 11 days. They made sure to push back my hire date <laughs> after the holidays, so they wouldn't have to pay me for that off period. So when I came into the new year and was trying to stuff this new challenge, I ain't had no money. But uh, yeah. So I'm gonna put the $5, in the $5 challenge. That's not gonna be the case this year. I get those, um, I get those paid holidays now. And then $10 into my rollover. And then at the end of the month, we will put this and count all this up, see how much I managed to save from my rollover cash, and throw that towards the uh, the blackout challenge. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video um, and listening to me ramble. And I guess come back to myself again. Uh, if you liked what you saw, and you wanna take this journey with me, then go ahead and subscribe and become a fellow traveler so we can take this journey together. Um, uh, that's all I got, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.